Hey, what is happening everyone? Today I'm bringing you another battle that I qualify for lost but not by much category, this time against someone by the name of Nice. Let's assume that there is a K missing at the end and call him Nick. Nick has brought a pretty cool looking team, though you can notice immediately that it relies on a sticky web, so I need to make sure that my side is clear of it, even though I have a scarf bravery on my team. I also have brought a Mega Banette, just because it's my second favorite Mega after Mawile, Technician Rose Raid, Shell Smash Barbarical, Physically Defensive Dradigon with Stealth Rock and Offensive Cryogonal with Rapid Spin. Let's see then how it turned out. Knowing that his team relies on a sticky web, it isn't much of a surprise to see Galvantula on his leading spot and I have two possible counter leads. Cryogonal, which can rapid spin it away and force his switch, or Rose Raid, which can put it to sleep before he gets to do so. Or at least that's what I thought, but my PU instinct deceives me. I was thinking of Galvantula as of a special attacking version of Ariados, but in reality, despite that both are spiders, Galvantula is almost twice as fast for some reason, fast enough in fact to outspeed my Rose Raid and set up a sticky web. So now that I learned Rose Raid isn't really a problem for this thing, I switch right to Cryogonal to rapid spin that sticky web, while he T-waves me on the switch and then switches to Espeon as it turns out to set up in my face as I get fully paralyzed. Deja vu from a previous battle? Anyone? But with Scarf Bravery and Mega Banette, I'm not really worried by that, so I just stay in to do a little damage with Ice Beam and therefore encourage him on setting up, giving me a safe switch which pretty much renders all of it useless, as Shadow Sneak coming from Adamant Max Attack Mega Banet is gonna just demolish this thing. Knowing that, he switches to Ambryon, as I protect to ensure a safe turn for Mega Evolving. Then, because I'm running my own Protect Disable set, I protect once more in case he just goes for a foul play or payback to disable it, giving me another free switch, but he protects as well to scout. That on the other hand tells me that this is just a wish passer and not an old school curse set, so I switch to Dradigon to set up my stealth rocks and Dragon tail him out if he tries to toxic stall me. He indeed goes for a toxic on my switch, but then switches to Tyrant Room instead. Needless to say, this thing is a problem to my team, but much bigger one if he carries a Dragon Dance, so I decide to stay in and go for a Dragon Tail in case he is that variant and tries to set it up predicting my switch. He just goes for an Ice Fang, which does a ton of damage, but in return, Raskin combined with Dragon Tail also brings him down to exactly half. From this range, anything on his team can finish me off, and I'm alright with that, because Dratigon did all I needed it for this battle, so I stay in to gain a free switch. I go back to Banes to force his switch once again, but this time I double switch to Barbaracle predicting his Umbreon, which would give me a perfect opportunity to Shell Smash. He however decides to death fodder his Galvantula instead, and I certainly don't wanna stay in against this thing, so I go to Cryogonal, thinking that with its great natural special defense it should be able to take more than one hit even without any investment, and it indeed does. What's more, with max offensive investment Ice Beam turns out to be a clean one hit KO after Stealth Rocks. That ensures no sticky web on my side, and it's all I wanted from Cryogonal, so I let him get another easy revenge kill and since he goes for a Thunder Fang, I bring my Rose Raid, knowing that if he is Scarfed, I can take it with Decent, base 65 defense and if he's holding anything else, I outspeed him. Because I don't want to risk another Sleep Powder miss, I just go for a Life or Boosted Sludge Bomb to do some good damage to whatever happens to come in and get a Poison on the way, which is very important because with its help, his Umbreon won't be able to live another one and wish up. He goes for a protect, I guess forgetting that poison takes more of his health than leftovers recover, so then he's left with no choice but to defodder something on his team to bring in another massive threat. Knowing that Barbarical should be able to lift anything but Solar Beam from Mega Charizard Y, I switch to it, but this is where I started making mistakes, because I decided to sacrifice yet another poke to obvious Solar Beam, what I should have done instead is switch to Bravery to take it. Now I bring my bravery and immediately make even bigger mistake, his tyrant room manages to just barely survive a brave bird but instead of just finishing it off, I switch to Banette afraid that he is scarfed, even though he would still have to be running jolly nature to outspeed me, so the odds were certainly in my favor. But instead I go to Banette, 
take a Thunderfang on the switch and then, to make matters worse, rather than going for a Shadow Sneak, I switch again to Rosray to take another one, only to find out that he is not choiced in any way after all and get demolished with a Stone Edge. So basically, I let him do a huge dent to my team, only to finally go back to Bravery and take him out with U-turn to ban it. He goes back to Umbreon, but after Stealth Rock damage, I think Shadow Sneak joined with Poison damage should be enough to take him out. I am clearly underestimating Umbreon's defenses though, because it turns out that even with a crit that is not the case, but thankfully he goes for a Dark Pulse instead of wishing up, probably also expecting to go down on that turn. So the crit didn't matter. All it changes is that he goes down to another Shadow Sneak without additional poison damage and I go down to an Aqua Jet from his Feral Gator rather than another Dark Pulse. So I am down to my Bravery and unfortunately, even after Stealth Rocks and additional Life Orb Recoil, Feral Gator is bulky enough to survive a Brave Bird with a definition of Smidgen remaining and although his Life Orb Recoil makes it a double down, he still has a Charizard remaining, so with Narrow 1-0, he takes the game. Good game, Nick. One of these battles where I can't lay the blame for losing on anything but my bad plays. Still, certainly enjoyed it. Hope you all did as well. In which case, don't forget to reward me with a like or comment. And as always, 